Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's Hit Parade. It's a collaboration here. Multi-sport madness, dual case number four. One spot gets you three teams, 20 total boxes. A lot of uh, great potential in this Jaspie's Hit Parade collaboration. We comboed up some football teams, one car per box. You know, great stuff as always. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate the people taking a shot in that filler break right there. All right, congrats again to the winners. So there are the football teams with the uh, combos, Cardinals, Texans, Raiders, Commanders, and of course all baseball teams are in and all basketball teams are in. No combos there. One dice roll for all lists, six and a four, 10 times. Names and teams, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have I ever seen or looked at? Yes. The algorithm will get me on that. Bill Hader breaking character, which is pretty much every sketch that he's done. Got Zach down to Michael after 10. That's for, f we'll do football, baseball, basketball. And then six and a four, 10 times for the football teams. Those videos are all usually quite long. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten for the football teams. Got the Raiders Commanders combo down to the Bengals. Cat Team Mojo. Alright, there's the first half of the list right there. And that's the second half of the list right there. We'll alphabetize all of it in just a second here. Six and a four, ten times for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> yeah, Cal him cracking him California is pretty good. Mets down to Cardinals after ten. All right, here's the first half of the list here. And the second half of the list right over there. All right, and last but not least, we're going to do basketball, six and a four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Jazz down to the Clippers. And the other thing great about the Californians is someone who is a Southern Californian. I mean, ever I think most people know the sketch is from based on when they're living in California. But the great, the great stuff is um, is like all those street directions they talk about. It's like, why you took the 405 to Sunset to Sepulveda? Like, they're all like real street directions. It's like just so you like think of them in your head and you're like, oh yeah, I guess that's the way I would go. If there was traffic on Sepulveda, you'd cut across and go up Coldwater Canyon, then you go on Ventura and you cut across the other way and you'll be in Sherman Oaks. So the directions for the most part are, are correct. All right, so let's do another quick review here. Here's the first half of the list for, the, for football. If you're trading, go football for a football team, baseball for a baseball team, basketball for a basketball team. That just makes it a lot easier. But there's the list again. We're gonna alphabetize by first name right here, or by first name of the team. And there's the list alphabetized by team. Second half right here. First half, second half. Blue Jays, last spot mojo for Zach. So when, we, when I alphabetize this, you'll still see, still see Blue Jays. Right there. And first half, second half, you see Zach with, uh, also has Toronto. Again, this time Toronto basketball. You can see him with the Raptors down there as well. All right, we're going to pause the video just for a bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have, anyone want to trade? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can just roll.
Yeah, they would talk. I mean, you go to any party in L.A., Rex, and that's the conversation. I mean, there's so much traffic. Everybody wants to know how you got go from place. Like, so how did where where'd you go? How'd you get here? It's always it's always like pretty common small talk here. I guess I, I'll I'll bet people in New York do that too. It's like, hey, what, what I guess what subway did you take to get here? Maybe no, maybe not. Because there's only direct lines to it, and I guess there's a lot of other ways to get to get around in LA. Maybe I don't know. No one's trading, right? All right. But yeah, that's a common topic of conversation when you go to a place. Like, hey, how, how did you how'd you get here so fast? Or people will be like, oh man, I was jammed up in traffic over there. How'd you get here? All right. One case on camera, other case off to the side right here. And with that, you'll learn new ways to navigate Los Angeles. It's good small talk. All right, here's the first case. Here are the final printouts right here. That is for, uh, that's obviously for football. I should mark that up here. That's for football right there, obviously. This is for Major League Baseball. Right. What do you do? All you got to get out the 405 to Rosecrans, make a left on PCH, turn left at the van store. You can do that. You can do that. Or you could get off on Inglewood, take a right on Manhattan Beach Boulevard, take a left on Aviation, curl around down uh, past the Trader Joe's, take a right on PCH, take a right at the van store, after the van store. It's another way. Aviation route is not so bad either. Or sometimes if you're coming from the from from my neck of the woods in Santa Monica, sometimes I can take Lincoln straight shot down. Or sometimes I can take Lincoln straight shot down all the way to Culver, go across Culver, go down the uh, go down Pacific, I think, which the, the wherever Dockweiler is, Vista Del Mar. Go down Dockweiler and you cruise through Manhattan Beach. Right, you cruise through there. You take a right on Fifteenth at the fire department. Take a, another right there on Valley. Go all the way down to Pier Ave and shoot up Pier Ave, and then you could take a left at PCH, and then you take the immediate right turn into the parking lot at Jaspi's right after the van store. What's the best way to get to Westriff on Friday, Oliver? I'll be coming from Westchester, the driving range. So I'm thinking I'm just going to take a straight shot down, uh, take the straight shot down Lincoln slash PCH. Probably the easiest way. First one out of the gate is Jordan Alvarez. Eight out of 99. Nice future stars autograph. Baseball's on my left side here. That is going to be, it's going to be for Frank and the Astros. Good start. I like the Dockweiler route though. That's you get some. I get I get to see some nice ocean views all the way down. And you can see the the Palos Verdes Peninsula from the uh, from the Fria as well. It's a nice look. Graded PSA ten. It's basketball. It's Burn, Dashman Burn. Nice from 2020 Contenders Basketball Rookie Ticket Auto. NBA is on my right side. That's gonna be. That's gonna be for Joe. Joe Andreessen with the Grizzlies with a spot that he won in the filler.
What's the weather going to be like, Oliver? you have any idea what the weather's going to be like on Friday? I suppose I could look. I don't, I don't know if you know off the top of your head. We got baseball. We got best performers, Nolan Gorman from Bowman's Best. 45 out of 150. Cardinals. That's Mike. Michael with the Redbirds. Portlandia, Rex. Sorry, Portlandia is a good one, by the way. I don't. Th I think I've only watched the first couple seasons. I think it dragged on a little bit. But the first couple seasons were pretty stellar, I thought. We got football. You like that? 23 out of 49. Kirk Cousins. You like that? Vikings. That's going to be for Jeff Brown. What can Brown do for you? Buy some spots in my group breaks, and I pull some hits for you. That's what we can do. All right, all right. Sunny, high of 71. So maybe just shorts, shorts and t-shirt. I guess collared t-shirt. Shorts and collared t-shirt. How strict are they about that dress code? Graded card. Could I wear a hoodie? There's Jamal Murray. Rookie Jamal Murray. From Select Basketball. Nice. From 1617 Select. Centering, edges, surface, corners. All a 9-5. That's pretty awesome. It's a good time to get this. Denver Nugget. Denver's on this side here. That'll be for that'll be for Tammy. There you go, Tammy. Nice. We got current select basketball in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Just came out today. Always be closing, ladies and gentlemen. Always be closing. Not strict, just don't look shabby. All right. All right. I can dress up. I clean up all right. Here's Christian Watson. Rookie auto for the Green Bay Packers. John Jackson with a spot that he won in the filler. On the board. Another graded card, football this time, PSA 10. It's Dak Prescott from 2021, uh, Mosaic Football. That honeycomb pattern, which I think I enjoy. I think that looks pretty cool. That is for Dallas, Zach, with the boys. We got more of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen, as well. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I don't know how many cases of this we have. Kind of visualize it. Maybe we can do. Maybe we have ten breaks. Do we have twenty cases? No. Maybe we, no. We've got more than we can do five. Maybe maybe a few more breaks. I don't know. Just keep buying them. I'll, I'll let you know when we're down to our last one. Rookie Otani from Gypsy Queen. Twenty eighteen tops Gypsy Queen missing back plate. Otani, grading all a 9.5, centering, edges, corner, surface, all a 9.5. And just angels, that's right. We were talking about, Rex and I were talking about this earlier. That they've been doing that for years. I guess I just never really thought about it. I thought they ended up with just settling on Los Angeles Angels. I, I suppose Tops is sitting out of that debate. Uh, Angels, that doesn't go here. Who has the Angels? Baseball's over here. That is Nathan. Nathan with the Angels. Nice Otani. Another graded card. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Oliver. It's Cade Cunningham. From a Target box set, I guess. PSA 10. That's pretty strong. That's going to go to Detroit. That is going to go to Frank. There you go, Frank. Nice hit. Already graded for you.
Ooh, a couple of years ago, you, I pulled you. I pulled you. A two, who says Rex doesn't hit? Uh, a 2009 T206 P Mini Kershaw out of Hit Parade. Put it on eBay. It's up to 102, and it ends on Sunday. Well, you got to let me know how, it, how that, that ends up, Rex. I'd be curious. Give me a post on that. Yeah, I just saw read an LA Times article about that, Oliver. That so the, the Angel Stadium has a giant A with a halo on it. That's oftentimes if you watch ball games, they'll call that the big A. That's the reason why. It's just like one of the kind of architectural quirks that have happened in like 60s or 70s stadium architecture. Anyway, uh, I think it might have a, a a digital scoreboard or something like that, or used to. Nice Jalen Brunson, Timeless Treasures, Jersey and Auto, 41 out of 99. Dallas. John with Dallas. And so now it has a halo on it. There's a big A, maybe a video board and a halo on top of it. And they, right, and I learned that too. I didn't realize that was the inspiration. Oh, there's more. Other case. So, you know, the Sacramento Kings light the beam, right? The inspiration was that, and I only learned this the other day when I read that article, was, uh, was when the angels win, they would light the halo. Right? There'd be a halo around there and someone flicks a switch and that, that gets lit and you could see it from miles around. You know, it's like, it's just kind of in a place in the city in Anaheim where you, from a lot of places and a lot of major freeways you can see it. And then apparently, they just keep it on now. Which is dumb. But I think that's an Artie Moreno decision. They were they saying they like to keep it on because they can spin texts around there and probably like say, hey, buy tickets at angels.com or is it advertising too? Yeah, advertising stuff like that. Uh, allegedly, I, I haven't seen this with my own eyes, but allegedly they, it's, I guess more dimly lit it's not as bright if they don't win i guess it's brighter if they do and turn on more lights but Ooh. thick it's a book from nt nt baseball it's legends cuts harman killabrew harman has been known to kill a brew or two in his day and kill some baseballs the logo? That's what they say. Nice. Uh, Minnesota Twins. That will be for... That'll be for Scott. There you go, Scott. Nice cut auto of Harmon Killebrew. 95 out of 99. Just because we have a little time. Let me hit you with some Harmon Killebrew lifetime stats because some people may not remember old Har Harmon Killebrew. MVP, 13-time All-Star. Harmon Killebrew had a lifetime 256 batting average, 2,086 hits, 1,500, over 1,500 RBIs, an OPS of 884, and 573 home runs. Yeah, he can hit it a little bit. I think played for the Twins his entire career. I guess the Washington Senators that turned into the minute the the version of the Senate the fifties version of the Senators that turned into the Twins. And there's LeBron James, nice twenty eighteen Panini Donners basketball orange laser, LeBron James. That'll be for the Lakers. Who's got my Lakers? For Greg. Greg M. With the Lakers. Nice. He was a fourth ballot Hall of Famer? Stupid baseball writers. I don't know. Maybe that day and age. 256 is, I suppose, pretty low in that day and age. Only one MVP. 
We got another graded card. It's football. It's Joey B. Joe Burrow, rookie Joe Burrow from Absolute. Yellow parallel. That is for Cincinnati. Michael with that one. Oh, that's right. All Oliver, you're gonna that's you forgot I forgot about the baseball tournament, right? You ever play that golf course in Cooperstown, Oliver? I drove by it, it looked pretty cool. It's right on the lake. Another graded card. Love seeing a lot of graded cards in here. This is basketball. It's rookie Jason Tatum. PSA 9, 2017, Panini Donner's Optic, Blue Velocity, PSA 9. Boston Celtics, who's got the C's, my rivals. Jeff with the C's, nice. Last time you did not play golf, maybe, maybe bring the sticks, or maybe they might rent you some sticks. It looked like a cool spot. It looked like nobody was playing. Oh, you are bringing the sticks. Play that late course. Let me know how it is. That hotel attachment looks cool too. PSA 10, Patrick Mahomes. 19 out of 50. That's gonna go to the Chiefs. That'll be for Zach Sullivan. The reason Cooperstown was chosen to place of the Hall of Fame is because of Union General Abner Doubleday. I think that's common knowledge, no? You know, uh, author uh, James Finemore, Fen Finemore Cooper. His family lived there for a long time. Here's Nomar. Four out of ten. Hen hence Cooperstown. How about that? He wrote uh, Last of the Mohicans, I think. Four out of ten, Noma. Boston edition. That's going to go to Seth and the Red Sox. Noma. So he's, I think, does Nomar still live in Manhattan Beach with Mia Hamm? And here's Randy Arzuena from Archive Signature Series. Rays, that's for Greg. Right, yeah, I don't think Double, Double Day was ever in Cooperstown, but Double Day Field is there. It is in his name at Cooperstown. I saw the grave of, of uh, James Fain Fenmore. Cooper. Find more Cooper. He died in uh, 1851 in Cooperstown, New York. Yeah, his, his grave is there. You know what? I th Oliver, I think Michael Jaspi mentioned that. And his brother does some work. Uh, Manhattan Beach Travel Baseball. There's A.J. Brown. I want to say Michael actually played for him for a season or something like that. He'll tell you the story when he's back. Scott, with the Eagles, you got the downtown A.J. Brown. Different Doubleday family from the old Mets owners. That I don't know. Jan might know. Did he write anything else? Oh, the leather stocking tales, I guess. And the spy, I never read the spy. The last one, though, he can is pretty good. Here's uh, Garrett Wilson, three color patch and autograph, 95 out of 99. 
Patrick with the Jets. In the spot that you won in the filler. And the last one, 20th and final box. Good luck, everybody. It's graded. It's PSA 10, and it's going to be basketball. And it's going to be LaMelo Ball from Select Basketball. Silver Prism Concourse Parallel. Nice. Hey, we got the brand new Select Basketball in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Always be closing. And we got more of this uh, dual case break in the store, too. Always be closing. Frank, you got the Hornets. You get this LaMelo already graded for you. How convenient is that? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, and that Garrett Wilson, a sell sheet hits his scoot. Nice one. Nice one for Patrick. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for getting in, boys and girls. I appreciate you. More of this dual case in the store. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.